Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my channel I am Rauf Yaseen and in the previous video we have successfully performed update operation so in this video we will perform operation delete operation if I double click on this uh, role this role is being loaded in this form and when I click on this delete button it should be deleted from the database so let's start and go to roles form and double click on this button double click on this one this is not working delete button yes double click and then first I'll check if this dot is update if this form is loaded for update process and then I'll do using SQL connection CUN equals to new SQL connection and over here I'll specify app connection dot get connection string okay and then after this I'll specify using SQL command cmd equals to new SQL command and then I'll specify my command name over here and pass connection object so before proceeding I'll create a store procedure for this one and I'll reuse this store procedure and I'll rename this one delete role by id so instead of using this one go to window and close all documents no right click on show procedure new new store procedure control a remove and then create procedure usp roles delete by role id and then we are passing role id again int and after this as begin and end and then I'll write query delete from roles where role id equals to this role id simple as that where condition is very important here click on execute button over here and copy this one and remember we are passing role id as an parameter and paste this over here and after this I'll specify cmd dot command type equals to command type dot store procedure and after this I'll pass my parameter cmd dot parameters dot add with value and we remember we are passing role id as an parameter and pass this dot role id okay so after this I'll check if my connection is not already opened then go ahead and open my connection please and after this I'll simply call execute non query okay and after this I'll display a message box dot show role is successfully deleted from the system and I'll specify success and message box button dot ok and icon dot information so after this I'll simply call reset form controls function and if you remember if you go to definition in this form we are setting clear out these text boxes and if this form is loaded we are changing some information okay so this is the simple code for this delete button go ahead and test this I wanna delete this salesman if I double click on this click on delete role is successfully deleted from the system close this one and look at this our salesman is deleted from this but it is not good practice to directly delete the roles or directly perform operations instead we should ask for confirmation we should ask to user because delete operation is a sensitive operation and we should ask from user that are you sure you want to delete this record if the user click on yes then we should delete that user so we'll perform this operation and we'll ask this confirmation box in the next video thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video take care of yourself allah faiz assalamu alaikum